Hey everybody, it's Charlotte. Today on Maker's Moments, we'll be teaching you how to make a candle using paraffin wax. Paraffin wax is the world's most commonly used candle wax. Paraffin is a relatively hard wax and comes in a variety of melting points, which allows it to be used for many different types of candles, including both pillars and container candles. Developed in the 1850s, paraffin is valued for its opacity, lack of color, lack of odor, and consistent burn qualities. We will walk you through how, in just eight simple steps, you can make your very own luxury paraffin wax wooden wick candle. First, you'll want to get prepped. You're going to need vessels. Today we'll be using two from our Aura collection. Wax, we're using paraffin wax. Fragrance oil, Today we're using a fragrance oil from our Naturals collection, wooden wicks, wick clips, wick stickers, safety labels, a pouring pitcher in a stove safe pot, a stirring utensil, a thermometer, and wick trimmers. Now we're going to heat things up. Cover the area you'll be working on or work on an easy to clean surface. Clean out your vessels with a damp cloth to make sure there's no dust or residue inside of them. Fill a stove safe pot with water until the water reaches approximately three inches or 12.7 centimeters in height. Preheat the water until it's barely simmering, not boiling. Then we can get started melting our wax down. I'm using paraffin wax. You can divide your wax into small chunks with a wax cutter or a knife and then place them into your pouring pitcher. I've already placed paraffin wax in our pouring pitcher and it started melting. The total ounce fill of each vessel will be equivalent to the amount of wax needed per vessel. For example, if an 8 ounce vessel is being used, you'll need 8 ounces of wax. To determine how much wax you need for your vessel, you can fill a measuring cup with water to find out how many ounces of liquid will fill your container. Or if you're using a vessel from the Wooden Wick Co, like I am today, you can simply look on our product page on the website for the ounce fill of that particular vessel. If you're using a flake wax instead of a wax slab, you'll need to weigh the flakes with a scale to determine the amount you need to melt. Carefully place the chunks of wax into your pouring pitcher in the water-filled pot. Leave the pouring pitcher in the pot until the wax has completely liquefied and has reached the appropriate mix and pour temperature for that wax type. If you're ever unsure on the mix and pour temperature for your wax, refer to the manufacturer or product page where you purchased the wax. While your wax is melting, you'll want to assemble your wicks and place them in the vessel. If you've never used wooden wicks before, they're really easy to use since they stand up straight on their own with the help of the provided wick clips. Check out our wick selection guide online for suggestions on which wick is best for you. We've linked that below. For this candle today, I'm using the Crackling Booster 0.02 wick from the Wooden Wick Co. I'm using this wick because of the way that it performs with paraffin wax and because of the particular size vessel that I'm using. Understanding the relationship between wax, wicks, and vessel size is key to making a successful candle with wooden wicks or cotton wicks, but it's not too hard at all. There's a link below that's a great foolproof guide to picking the right wicks. Now, press your wick into the wick clip by gently rocking the edge of the wick back and forth until the bottom is completely secured into the clip. I'll repeat the process since I'm making two candles today. Next, you'll want to adhere a wick sticker to the bottom of the wick clip. Press the wick sticker onto the bottom of the wick clip assembly and pull away the second side of adhesive. Place the wick and clip assembly into the center of your vessel and push down firmly. Now, let's check the temperature of our wax. Looks like we're ready to go. Once you've reached the perfect temperature, it's time to stir things up. We'll start by removing our pouring pitcher from the double boiler and bringing it over to our workspace. Measure and pour in the fragrance oil and stir briskly for two to three minutes. This prolonged stirring will help the molecules of the fragrance bind with the molecules of your wax for a consistent burn. Two ounces is the appropriate amount for these two aura vessels. That means you'll be using one ounce of fragrance oil for each candle, giving you a 10% fragrance load. To dive into the math here, the fragrance load of 10% is the amount of fragrance concentration in your total wax fill for each vessel. In this case, the Aura vessels each have a 10 ounce wax fill, making the ratio of fragrance 1 out of 10. 10% 10 of 10 ounces equals 1 ounce. 
This is an excellent fragrance load that will give you a powerful hot and cold throw. If you're making more than two candles, you can refer to our fragrance percentage chart in the link below for exact details and pouring measurements based on your desired fragrance load. Now, it's time to pour these candles. Slowly pour the blend of wax and fragrance into your vessel until between half an inch to one inch of the wick remains above the wax. Now, we get to chill out. Let your candles set on a flat surface for at least 24 hours. Once your candles have fully cooled, use some wick trimmers to trim your wick to 0.2 inches or five millimeters above the wax. Apply safety labels to the bottom of your candles. Congrats, you're officially a candle maker. Once you've created your candles, it's also important to make sure that you properly care for and store your beautiful new creations. Make sure to trim your wick in between burns where the wood naturally breaks off. You can trim the wick by gently pinching the burnt bits off with your fingers when the candle is completely cooled. Never burn your candle longer than four hours. We recommend burning in cycles of two to three hours until a full melt pool is achieved. This maximizes an even burn and maximizes the throw of your fragrance. When not in use, store candles upright in a cool and dry environment out of direct sunlight. Ready to put your newfound knowledge into practice? Everyone has an interesting first candle making story. Share yours in the comments below. If you wanna purchase any of the components that we used in this video, we're linking them all below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. See you next time on Makers Moments.